And so, Paulina Punchwood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, friend of the apes, and survivor of cataclysmic events, did stand upon her deck at Cozy Cottage, gazing upon the damages done by the catastrophe, the natural catastrophe that grew up around her as she slept through the night. And now it is time to go assess the full damage that may or may not have happened to her farmland and her workshop. And what the heck is that? <laughs> Hello, big fella. Wow. It's an albino... I think it's an albino paraterium. Stop walking so I can read. I want to paint you red. It's a big thing. It looks like a mammal. Are you a dinosaur? I'm going to run right through your legs. Like Star Wars. Alright, anyway, let's put the uh, paintbrush down. it will tell you exactly what I'm doing with it. But it looks like we... Um... Oh, there's another one over there. Let's go, let's see what that is from here, so this one's not shaking. A Parasaratherium. Parasaratherium. Okay. Anyway, uh, we have more impressing matters, guys. We gotta get down. <laughs> oh no! All right, we didn't come out. We didn't come out fully unscathed here. Here's my Dino Gate. <laughs> A lot of good is gonna do us down there. Oh wow! Look at this. So this is what happened here, guys. After the big update, it just came down about a half an hour ago and this is the first chance I've had to load up the game to see what what's cooking here because I had done some migration over at home over there and uh, I moved all of my dinosaurs, well, not all of them, the ones that weren't here anyway into a refugee camp um, pulled back from the river because I'm thinking maybe the river at least based on the map that I saw before the update that the developer said hey if you're in this area you might want to move back a little bit so I did I made up a nice little area as a refugee camp. And where's Donnie? Oh gosh. Donnie! Wait, he should be here. Oh no. Oh, there he is. Donnie, get over here. Um, so I, I did move them back deliberately away from the river. I made up a whole new perimeter fence around um, behind the farm and the workshop. And, oh geez. Hold on. Let me just eat quick. Um, no, 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 no. Donnie. And do this. Oh no, did they? Oh, they changed my keys, didn't they? Dang it. Okay, okay. So yeah, lots of lots of catastrophic events here. Not only around my homeland, but also to my uh, my key mappings. Alright, let's go assess the damage, guys. Hopefully everybody's okay. What the heck? Oh my gosh, look at this rock. It's massive. So this is all new area. Oh, here's a few fellas. We got Oh what is this thing? See, so get them! Wow! Oh! Cecil? Are you passive? What's going on here, bro? That's a gigantic snaky thing. Uh. Oh! Cecil! Let me on! What's wrong with you? Kill him! He gads, man! I gotta poop again? Cecil, what's wrong with you, dude? You're on passive? You're on passive! Alright, everybody neutral. There we go. Eat him up. <gasps> oh no! This is farm! <gasps> uh oh, no, this is serious, guys. Whoa. Wait a minute, I see Casper. Oh, Donnie, get over here! Everybody, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here! Ugh. All right, you guys just stay. Just stay right there. Oh man! Cecil, help your brother and sister! Oh, he's not going to attack. Oh. See, some might have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You're coming after me, aren't you? Well, that's dumb. Anyway, alright, this is really bad, guys, because here's the refugee camp I made for my dinosaurs. This is the refugee camp. Here's. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Where are... Where's my dinosaurs? Where's Paulina's children? We got Casper. We got Elaine. What about Giz? Stacy? Rusty? 
Oh no, we got the, the flung poos over here too. This literally dropped dead center on my refugee camp, guys. I'm not kidding. You can see it back there. I just extended the fence around back behind the farm and stuck everybody back there thinking the only area of effect here was a l right along the river, like right along the river. But no, this is this rock. Oh, man. Okay, this boulder literally dropped right on the refugee camp. And it crushed a good number of my dinosaurs, Paulie and his children. Casper got away. No! What am I going to do now? How many casualties? Yeah, this is where it ended, right here. And I had, not only did I lose dinosaurs, but I had moved everything I owned. I had a big, like a warehouse with about eight boxes, large, large storage boxes, small storage boxes. I had preserving bins. I had uh, feeding troughs right here. This rock almost perfectly landed inside my refugee camp. Absolutely insane. I thought I had them in safety. And what the heck is this? Some kind of gigantic boa thing. I think those have been around. But now that the swamp is here, they, uh, they're they spawning here. Well, guys, this is devastating. This, um, this giant boulder is now a gravestone... It's a head it's a headstone. It's a marker of a massive grave of a good portion of my dinos. And I don't accept that. I'm going to go see if I can't find an old backup and restore a backup where more dinosaurs are in a safer area. I think I'm I'm pretty sure I have one. Here's the Arctoria covered in mangrove trees. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking though. It looks like, like they grew up around it. Oh, uh, I can't even laugh right now about this. This is horrible. Absolutely horrific. I'll be right back. I'm going to go see if I can find a different save where um, I had more dinosaurs away from the refugee camp. I mean, they would have been just better off staying where they were, I think. Sad thing is, there's some really exciting things with this update. Like uh, a few new animals and creatures. The new biome is very exciting. And I can't wait to explore. Maybe tame some new dinos, but my joy is severely hampered by the horror of this rock crushing a good number of Paulina's children. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back, and I have a bit of good news. Uh, I know, Sally, I know. It's not really good news. There's, there's no such thing as good news on a day like today. But um, at least it's not quite as bad news as it was before. So I, I managed to save the flung poos. We've got Hugh flung poo, and we've got Mia here on my shoulder. Um, everybody else that was here was already up here. So let's get down to the farm slash workshop. Now has a magnificent boulder on it. Um, and there's some, some new... Uh, some of my children are still alive now after this catastrophic event. Cataclysmic event. Which certainly is a catastrophe. But it was a natural disaster. There's nothing we could do about it. Paulina had a premonition a few days ago about it in a dream. She did her best to move her children out of the way. Um, but it wasn't quite far enough. So I went back in time a little bit. Rolled back to an earlier save. And we have... We've got Stacy back. Hello, Stacy. It's good to have you back again, girl. There you go. Good to see you. Mom is here. We got uh, Dilly and Dally, the Dilos, are all back. We got Ding Dong and a Ling. Not that she cares too much, they're just stupid chickens is. Uh, we got Rusty's here and alive and well. And we got Roly Poly. And of course, Casper 
who has survived the initial impact of this boulder or maybe it came up from the ground I don't know either way um, he he is alive gizmo I'm afraid is gone as is uh, Perry Parasaurolophus they didn't quite make it out and who else I'm gonna do a head count here I think it's just the two of them that I've lost Arcturia is back that's where it was at this particular save. This was before I made the refugee camp. So before I started moving everybody around. So my attempts to save children actually caused the deaths. I think. Well, I don't know. Gizmo was not in a very good spot. She, she was literally right in the center of that rock. And I, I suppose we need to make some headstones here for him. Let's put up some signs for the lost... Not sure how many signs we're going to need for this. But now this place is nothing but a massive grave site. Let's put a sign right here, guys. It's hard to get excited about this new update because this really is so many new things to take a look at. Like I said, the biomes and new creatures. Oh, I'm super excited to go out and look for those things, but Paulina needs a little time right now. Just needs a little time. I'm gonna need to make some standing torches here too. Oh man, I need some flint for that, don't I? Ah, dang nabbit. All right, I'll go get some flint. Lost everything. I lost. Well, I lost a lot of things. I even moved stuff from Cozy Cottage into that little warehouse area I was telling you about because I thought it would be safer in the warehouse, which clearly not the case. Stupid rocks! I hate rocks now. Man, this is so sad. But Paulina's got to keep it together for the rest of her children. She has to stay strong. Rest in peace, Gizmo. We are gathered here today, my friends, in memory of Paulina's fallen children, Gizmo and Perry. Having succumbed to the great cataclysmic event of 2015 on September 28th. Crushed beneath the boulder that fell from the sky. And now, my friends, let us let them rest in peace. We've got Gizmo, my beautiful girl, Carno, strong and sweet. And Perry the Parasaurolophus, my baby boy Para, gentle and kind, was a lover, not a fighter. Rest in peace, you two. You will be remembered. <laughs> You will be remembered. No, I get up, Paulina. Come on, be strong for your kids. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I gotta go. All right, let's go. Let's go back up and see the other kids. You guys stay here. Spend a moment with your fallen brother and sister. And I'm gonna come up with a plan, guys. To figure out what the heck we're gonna do from here on out. I don't think Paulina wants to stay here anymore. No, it's, 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 there are too many memories here. Fond memories with her children, but now with Gizmo and, uh, and Perry gone, I think she might want to move on. We might just pack everybody else, uh, uh, pack up everybody and move away from this terrible place. Too many memories here of this cataclysmic jungle appearing and destroying two of Paulina's children and laying waste to her farmland and her workshop etc etc so I don't know what we're gonna do let me um let's just let Paulina rest on it she's gonna take a quick nap I think Ooh, that's a new sound when you throw toss your monkey now wow Ooh. Yeah, I guess that's to let you know. I still think they should just change the darn key. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss here for words right now. I don't know what to do. Alright, we're going to try to sleep away the pain and sorrow. I don't know if it's going to work, but they, they do say that time heals all wounds. Paulina needs a little time to herself right now. Close all the windows. 
she can cry in silence and peace without her kids getting too upset. Oh. I'm into bed now, guys. All right, I think we're just gonna call it quits right here, guys, until I can get organized for a, a real episode, and we'll go out and do some stuff. Like I said, there's a lot of new stuff to see. I wanna head up to the snow biome and get a wolf. Paulina's favorite animal is a wolf. There, there's a new dire wolf creature, and I'd love to go tame one of those. Check that out, so uh, yeah. Let me just get prepared for that because uh, I just don't have the food or the supplies and I gotta get all that stuff back again. It's gonna take a little time off camera to get uh, to get caught back up again. So give me a few days and I'll be back. Alright, stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.